Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. this way. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Dining room. Pretty fancy place. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Resident Evil. Probably one of my favorite franchises of all time. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. 
<laughs> yeah, this is probably one of my favorite games of the franchise, along with the RE2 and RE4. And before you ask me, yes, both the remake and the original of uh, RE2. Such an iconic scene. You ain't gotta fight him though. Just run back. Go through the door. And Barry will deal with him. Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Barrack and that Colt Python. Side note. Barry's handgun can actually one-shot the uh, first form of the tyrant. But to get it, you gotta sacrifice Barry, which I'm not going to. Because I actually like Barry. Jill, help me look for him. But let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Well, yeah, looks like Wesker's gone. You gotta go around, but you can also go up the stairs and then go back down. Like so. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Whoop, whoop. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. The one of the reasons why I prefer Jill's over uh, Chris's playthrough is because she gets the lockpick. Chris gets the lighter, but in Jill's you get like a lighter later on. Other things about Jill is she gets more unique weapons and she gets more inventory space. But not to, like, put a damper on Chris. Like, Chris has more health, he's faster, and he's better at aiming. The corpse of your comrade, Kenneth. Looks like he's holding something. Don't not belong to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded onto it. We won't see a video player for a long while. Not until around the, uh, end. And I should know I'm playing this on normal, so. The magazines won't be in the usual spots. If you play on like uh, easy and below, you'll get a magazine in your inventory. You don't get a mag if you're playing on normal. As for why I'm playing on normal, eh, I just feel like playing on normal. Also, some things that will change. Got a golden arrow. Don't need it. There should be a zombie on this corner right here, too, on the left. Yep, there he is. You get him to try to try and grab me again. There we go. Yeah, the higher the difficulties, the uh, more zombies start popping up. But if you manage to beat, I think it was like from normal to hard. And under three hours, you could get the uh, infinite uh, launcher. 
More like a grenade launcher that just like has infinite ammo because there's no rocket launcher in this game. Well, there is, but you don't get it until the end. Anyway, so we got our arrow. We'll go out into the graveyard. Or the courtyard, or whatever you want to call this place. You also hear there's some zombies out here too. Arrowhead looks like it could be removed. Yep. There is made of a Peridot, sometimes referred to as a poor man's emerald. Hey, I actually like Peridot. I guess I'm a poor man then. What sucks about down here is as soon as you get the key down here, no zombies are gonna be like right in front of the door, but there's a way to bypass them. If I could pull it off. Book of Curses. Yes, I will remove the key. Book of Curses, the four mass. Mass that speaks no evil, mass that smells no evil, mass that sees no evil, mass that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. I mean, I don't know how smell could be evil. I mean, I hear, I know the term hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil, but well, like I said, these guys are going to be right in front of the door. And it got me anyway. Usually got away from the turn like that and then just walk around on the side to avoid them. At least I didn't activate that other one. Usually got like HUD. Hug the right side of the wall to not activate him. Anyway, with the key, we're going to go the way that Barry told us that we, well, the way we told Barry we're going. Do not, there's a map in that vase to get it. You climb up the uh, dresser there. I'm down on the other side and just push it, but there's not really not really much of a point in going in that way. I mean at the end you just get a dagger. That's about it. Speaking of daggers. These things are gonna be really useful. Uh oh. Oh yeah, do I have to push this on the other side? I'm trying to save up as much ammo as you can because killing zombies in this game is kind... It's not recommended. Because they will come back as a Crimson Head and you do not want to fight Crimson Heads. Especially on normal difficulty because they hit harder. That and there, there's a lot more zombies, which means there's more crimson heads. Don't worry about these dogs. There's no really, not really a point of killing them. I think like in game they're called Cerberus. Oh, this room. Jill. 
I just came in here to get a dagger. If you're playing Chris, I think it's an iron key in Chris's playthrough. I wonder what iron keys are. Um, certain doors require an iron key to unlock, where in Jill, she has the lock pick. She could go through the doors either way. So you don't need to get an iron key. I do plan on playing both Jill's and Chris's. Because like both their kid the both their playthroughs are different. Like for example, in Jill's case she has Barry. But in Chris's case he has Rebecca. You will never encounter Barry and Chris's, you'll never encounter Rebecca and Jill's. Uh oh. Oh God, what did I do now? Wesker, Barry, help! Jill, you in there? Barry, get me out of here. The door's jammed. Stand back. Grab my hand! <sighs> Barry! That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. <laughs> Jill Sandwich. That is all. I also like how they're having a hard time finding Chris. All we gotta do is look for a boulder and he's probably punching it. But since we got the, I think it's a Winchester model 1897, which originally was supposed to be a Remington 870. All oh, this guy. So, yeah, the shotgun was originally supposed to be a Remington 870, because in the original game it is a Remington. But, I don't know, they swapped it out with a uh, Winchester Model 1897 for some reason. Special instructions for disposal of dead bodies. We have new information regarding those beings. They appear to be dead, but in fact they are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods to cease their resurrection. Number one, incineration. Number two, destruction of the head. If further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to those who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You'll need something to light it with, which you'll need to find yourself. Ooh, hinting on something, are we? Uh... I'll throw that in there. Knife is basically worthless. Especially on the difficulty I'm playing on. Do I keep the can- Eh. I'm not really aiming to kill zombies right now. If it's a zombie I know I could get away with killing, then I'm going to. Oh. Nope. Stupid idea, Jill. Stupid idea. Whew. There's going to be one more down here. Yep, there he is. Come on, go to grab me. There we go. I want to hurry up and get into this room before that zombie comes out. Oh, 
Will you take dog whistle? Yes, I will. Crumpled up memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one can find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like a vicious canine that lives here, no one will be able to get near it. As far as I could tell, the muzz always hanged around the second floor balcony in the west side of the terrace. And he ought to be come running at you at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that could get near the damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Which means that you could put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer once hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I could trust with this, of course. You'll get something out of it as well. Remember a certain item that you always wanted to get a hold of? Oh, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out for both of us, John Tolman. Uh, it doesn't look like it works out for both of you, because both of you are probably dead. Oh, 60 magazines. 60 bullets. I'm not happy about that. And yeah, you could get the lighter real early, which makes... Chris's playthrough kind of worthless with the lighter. Anyway, dodge him. Don't have to worry about this guy. There's one down here. Barry. Barry. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. Oh baby, acid shells. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. <laughs> hey Barry, I'll trade you my Winchester and Beretta for that Colt. Seriously, I will. I don't care how much ammo it has. I can one shot the tyrant with that thing. Anyway, we got our acid rounds, or acid shells. Which are really useful because, uh, late game you start getting hunters and they are a pain, but acid shells help out with hunters. I also need to run over and knock down that statue, but. Lock pick. Jill Valentine, Master of Unlocking. Alright. These fuckers. What? I've never seen him do that. Alright. Oh, you son of a... Uh-oh. You little son of a bitch. Fuck you. God, I hate Cerberus. And this is why they put the herbs here. Alright. Damn the dog collar. Coin was hidden inside the color. Or collar. Hit inside the color, alright. Change the shape of the key. Now that is a fake key. Imitation of a key. Probably don't need a dog whistle. Yep. I have no use for it anymore.
What we're gonna do is run down here. You ain't gotta worry about this guy because all he does is just vomit. Farming. As long as that zombie's on the stairs, you ain't really gotta deal with him that much. And since we're down here, let's go ahead and throw the extra shells in there. Um. Nothing really need down here. Perfectly fine with that. Yep, go up there. And all we gotta do is just run over here and we enter this room. Alright, he's dead. You could tell a zombie's dead if they have that, like, blood spot coming from below them. I just wanted to get rid of that crimson head because we're going to be going through there again. Actually, we're going to be coming through here a couple times. May whoever takes this emblem find peace and death. Oh, so that's what they mean. But if we throw the imitation in, we now got the armor key. I'm just gonna run down, I'm gonna run around and push that statue real quick. This guy, at? he's down here. And that other one should be. Oh! He almost got me. And this guy's over there on the other side. Come on, I ain't got all day, bud. I needed him to get away from that statue so I could push it down. There we go. Yeah, I think this game like originally came out March 22nd, 2002 on the GameCube. Originally exclusive, but I think like over the year, it finally like the exclusivity contract finally expired so that they're importing this game on like every other console along with Zero. Like it's on the Switch, it's on Xbox, it's on PlayStation, PC. You name it, this game is on it. Was on the Wii, but I never really... Well, I heard it was on the Wii, but I never really played it on the Wii. And... I pray I never play that nightmare. Because I can't imagine playing this game on a Wii. And do note, this is not me dunking on the Wii. I actually do love the Wii. There's a couple games I love on the Wii. But Resident Evil does not... It seems like the game that doesn't fit. If you get what I'm saying. 
Granted, RE4 is probably one of the best controls for it for the console. But Resident Evil with the tank controls, no. Nah. Not even close. Ew. Alright, since we got the gym, there's a reason why I got it. And that zombie's just walking right through. Come upstairs, buddy. Yep, follow me. Hey, you, whenever you hear, like, the sound, like... The orchestra just go up really high. It means, like, a zombie has entered the room. Anyway, since we got all that... Throw that in there. Might as well throw the shotgun in, because we ain't got no ammo for it. We're going to be getting ammo for it pretty soon. I just wanted to get rid of that crimson head. Oh, he walked down here. care about the old furniture. We don't need that broken shotgun since we got like the Jill sandwich cutscene. I just wanted that battery because that's another, that's like an extra thing of defense for me in case I get grabbed. Now defensive items do not work if you're grabbed from behind. So make sure your back is not turned to the zombie. But you don't really need to use them unless you're like swarmed. Like usually if there's like three or four of them on you. It's just one you could easily just get out of the way. Oh yeah. Like there's Take that gym, put it in there, and get the eye of the tiger. I don't know why nobody has ever made that meme yet. Let's see. I hope the tiger. There's you're putting your eye, you're putting an eye in the tiger. You're putting the gem, which is supposed to be its eye in the eye of the tiger. Why has nobody blasted that song while doing that? Uh, probably because of copyright. Oh boy, this room. Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1998. Play poker tonight with Scott and Ellis from security. And Steve from research. Steve was too big of a winner. But I think he was cheating, scumbag. May 10th, 1998. One of the higher-ups decided me to take care of the new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. The instructions were to give it live animals. What the hell? Alright, never mind. When I threw a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing it off its pig's legs and pulling out its guts before it actually started eating. May 11, 1998. Around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up, scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there's been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would have happened. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. May 12, 1998. I've been wearing a damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided to feed them today. Screw them. May 13th, 1998. Went to the infirmary because my back was swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear a suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. May 14th, 1998. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe there is, this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. 
If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. May 16th, 1998. I remember going around the research who were trying to escape this state last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratch the swelling in my arm, and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th, 1998. Fever gone, but itchy. Today, hungry. I eat doggy food. May 21st, 1998. Itchy, itchy. Scott came ugly face, so killed him tasty. Four dash dash. Itchy tasty. Have you ever seen the new uh, Resident Evil movie? This is where that comes from. The itchy tasty. That uh, weird chick writes on the wall, uh, the glass door. And there he is. Hi there, itchy tasty. Have a knife. I'll trade you. Oh. You too. There's really not a point going in that room. I think... I think there's an iron key in that room. I can't really remember. I'll probably check it out when I'm playing Chris's. There's some zombies beating on the windows, too. Alright, this room. There's a bunch of herbs there you could use if you wanted to. Throw that earth. Well, chemical fluid. The lid on this pump is open. Pump the water? Yes. Which will you turn? Just turn it red. And it'll kill these uh, vines here. Yep. If you turned it on the, uh, I think it's the green, you'll kill the herbs there. And there's a lot of herbs if you need them. Best to keep this place in mind in case you need to, like, heal. But it also has a bunch of problems, too. Because you're about to find out. As we get the death mask, come through here. Just hug this wall. Yo, what are you doing? Good God, I hate fixed camera angles. Oh, hey, bud. Can't really run down that way. I need to deal with, uh, Richard's BS. Might as well go ahead and do that now. By the way. Source custom automatic fires, 9mm parabellum rounds. So this is the Samurai Edge. I mean, I was wanting to talk about it, so I might as well go ahead and get it out of the way. It's based off the Breda 97FS, I believe. Which is a really good handgun. If you ever shot one in real life. Downside to it... Well... I haven't really encountered any downsides, my Breda. But, uh... Better than Glock. Something to know about me, I don't like Glocks. I think they're boring. Two rectangles overlap and that's it for a Glock. If you ask me which is sexier, Beretta or a Glock, I'll say Beretta. So I'm more of a Richard. German firearm guy. What happened? You're wounded. This whole place is a killing zone. There are monsters. What did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. You can tell it was a big snake, too, because you can actually see the two giant fang marks on his arm. Whenever we get back to Richard, just look at his arm. 
All right, so we got to run all the way back to that safe room. And I think this is timed. I want to say like seven minutes, five minutes around that ballpark. Didn't really take you that long. All right, where's this for? Up oh, right in front of me. Ah, he got me. Yeah, screw you. I'm all in caution. Lucky for me, I always had backup plans. Cause there's herbs out here. Four twenty blades. Of All right, where's this zombie at? He's over there being stupid. This guy, I don't even know where he's at. Oh, he's down in the hallway. Um, actually, no, I'm not pausing anything. I don't really need to. Actually, I might. Ooh, shotgun rounds. It pains me. Throw the mask in there, too. I was thinking about it. I probably need to throw those in there. Well, since we got the serum, let's head over back to Richard. Probably dying on the ground. Oh, you son of a... Well, my dodges are failing me now. And I don't like it. Please, God. Please, God. Dodge. Yes. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Praise Allah. Praise Buddha. Whatever God deities help me there. These zombies shouldn't really have to worry about them. As long as I don't like let that one zombie come out of that door, it should be fine. Yeah, look at his arm. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill, here's my radio. Take it. I'm. <sighs> Does it ever not hurt? Not really. I'm okay. The others... Yeah, the weird thing is, when I first played this game, I thought Richard was Brad. Because he kind of does look like Brad a little bit. All right. One for good measure. Always double tap. That guy you could just kill off no eat with no problem. And I like to kill him off. Because it makes this room a lot more easier. I still got 83 bullets. Hi there.
Yeah, if you just like ignore that zombie coming this room, he will actually come in here. So you'll have to deal with two of them to get this. Gets kind of annoying trying to ring, you know, ring around the rosium around this table. Oh, lordy lord. Hi, Richard. Bye, Richard. I can't wait to get your shotgun. Those don't know how to get a shotgun, I'm about to show you. I think I'm going to get his shotgun and end the part as soon as I get to save for him after that. Well, it should be coming really soon. Gotta go back into that one hallway where we encountered the first zombie where Kenneth is. Poor, poor dead Kenneth. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh, hello there. Oh god, zombies trying to get in. I don't want to deal with two of them in this room. No, thank you. Alright. I forgot, I always forget the emblem. All right, so we're going to do a little detour. Also, I want to run down here real quick. Yeah, that zombie's going to go through that door anyway, so. Yes. Always shoot him in the back. I don't know why I always just shoot him in the back. Kind of just screws with him a little bit. <coughs> Ugh. All right, now we got the emblem. Come back here. This guy's probably ticked off at me. Yep, he is. Surprised that zombie hasn't went through that door yet because he's beating on the door. Alright, since we got the emblem. I gotta just move this over to the side. And voila. Moonlight Sonata. Find them. We have that grand piano in the middle of the room. funny story about that song too somebody actually has like uh for their ringtone on their phone they have that song for me whenever i call them like i'm placed under that ringtone on their phone and you know who you are who when you watch my videos he also has me like labeled as grim reaper too Trevor's Diary. November 24, 1967. 11 days have passed since I arrived on the state. Had I done like this, a guy in Labco brought me some meager plate of food and said, 
sorry to put you through this, but for security reasons, that's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There's only two people that know the secrets of the mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer would be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter. It's too dangerous here. My family, I hope they're alright. I decided to escape, Jessica Lisa. I pray you are safe. November 26, 1967. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter. The one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's been going to be much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the day when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing this, my memories come back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coast said something like, Most likely your family is already. I pray for your safety. November 26, 27, 1967. Somehow I managed to get out of that room. But getting out of the mansion won't be easy. I have to get past all the booby traps, tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try to remember for my own sake. So if you remember that itchy scratchy uh, thing, like the itchy scratchy journal we found in that one room with the zombie in the uh, closet, that was the researcher they were talking about shooting down. Yeah, I would just shoot that guy and mess him up. Yeah, they shot down, uh, I forget his full name, Trevor. Lisa Trevor's, uh, dad. If you don't know who Lisa Trevor is, we're going to get to her eventually. I think we don't encounter her until we get to the, uh, outside and the, uh, port area. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. This is actually really easy. So all I do is go to the large gear, turn left. Keep turning, large gear, turn left. I almost turned it right. Your hint is in that picture on the top left. The guy in the green is getting run through by a short sword, where the guy in the red is getting run through the eye by a long sword. But with that, we got the key. Key that opens one door and this entire mansion. We're about to open that door, and we're about to get a very special weapon out of it. I us hear the zombies marching around over there. Eventually, it's going to have to go over there, Vent. Well, I might as well. Hi, Richard. Bye, Richard. Yep, discard it. Okay, in lower modes, there's usually some shotgun shells up here. But, since I'm on normal... Hello there. So this is Yawn. And if you save Richard, he comes in and help you. Oh, you son of... I was hoping not to get bit. Right over here, grab this mask. Go away, yawn. Yep. Keep hitting him, Richard.
I like how he bandaged up his arm too. Oh, you son of a bitch, Yon, I hate you. Grab the shotgun, go. Grab the shotgun and go. So, we got a Benelli. Fires 12 gauge shells, a Star's custom arsenal, and also Richard's favorite. Also, my favorite, too. If you're playing Jill, you get it from Richard after he dies from Yawn. Oh, am I poisoned? I need serum. Which is one of the things that makes, uh... Jill's a little bit better. I mean, both Jill and Chris could get that shotgun, but Chris doesn't get it until, like, later on. Like, you have to go all the way to the, uh... God, what was it? The uh, Neptune boss room. Neptune being the giant uh, shark. Might as well munch on some herb. Or not munch, blaze it up. Blaze on some herb. They'll poison though, so we gotta run all the way back. Like I said, if you get bit by Yawn in that boss fight, you'll get poison. And there's no re really no point in like fighting them there. You just fight them till you get the shotgun and leave. Unless you're Chris and just immediately leave the room. Don't bother. We gotta run all the way back where we got the serum. That's just dandy. He better not be right in front of me. Yep, he is. God. Oh. That would blow your head off. Where's this one at? Oh, he's down in the hallway. Didn't have to worry about him. Like that, we're in the safe room. Yes, I will take this here. All right. That will use bed. I don't care about the bed. Oh yeah, I got pulling ink ribbon out. And with that, we have no further use for lighter. I'll throw that mask with this mask. And we're gonna go ahead and save it. I'm going to call the part here. And yes, I cleared Jill so many times. Anyway, with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and have a good day.